Welcome back to the channel. Well, today in this short video, we're going to check how do we make sure if a certificate is a CA cert or not. To begin with, let's go ahead and check it out on google.com. What you need to do is you need to click on this lock icon right here, right? Once you click on it, you'll see an option of connection is secure the very first option right you got to click on connection is secure once you click on connection is secure you see the last option it says certificate is valid you click on that option right there okay i'm not interested in this information at the moment i will go to details which you see right here right here right you see details you got to click on that as soon as you click on that you'll find all this information out here what, what what we are interested in is the extensions section as you can see right here it says extensions right so there are um, these certificates have uh, got extensions that are critical and non-critical there could be no extensions or there could be extensions uh, and some of them are non-critical and some are critical as i just mentioned and this is the one we are interested in certificate basic constraints Okay, so we'll click on it and we'll check if the certificate is a CA cert or is it just a LEAF certificate. As soon as I click on it, I see this information at the bottom, the field value. It says, is not a CA, clear cut. It's not a CA. So that's because actually I'm at the LEAF right here. You see, this is the LEAF certificate. And this one, as we know, is the intermediate certificate. And at the top, we have the root certificate, which both of these should be uh, CA certificates. Let's check it out real quick. So if I click on the second one and then go to extensions and then certificate basic uh, constraints, I find that the field value says is a certification authority, which means it, it is a CA, right? And if I click on the top one, which is the GTS root R1, and I go to extensions, I'll find the same information under this value of certificate basic constraints. The field value says is a certification authority, which is a CA. Now, if I go ahead and download the certificate, um it might not look the same it will not look the same in the, it will not be presented to you in the same way um let me show that to you real quick as well so for that what you can do is you can go to you can click on this uh, button which says export and then um, yeah let me show you the certificate now once it's downloaded okay um so i just went ahead and downloaded this certificate and uh, yeah it's right here um you need to make sure that you know once when you're downloading or exporting the certificate the extension you'll have to add the extension of dot crt if you don't do that um you will not uh, see a certificate file there well then you'll have to change the extension there manually um while you're trying to open the file just change the extension before opening the file and then it'll get converted to a certificate um, file Okay, so that's that. Let me just go ahead and show you this option of um, basic certificate basic constraints. You'll have to go to details um, under this downloaded certificate. You see the second option of details. And in here, I'll show you the option of certificate basic constraints. And it's not necessary to check all of this information. You can actually select this from this drop down. You can see extensions only, right? So if you click on extensions only, you'll only see the extensions and not the other data. Now, we know that the one we're interested in, the field that we're interested in is the basic constraints. Now here, right at the bottom, you see subject type and entity which means it's not a CA. Now, if I go to certification path, I double click on the second one, right? It opens up the intermediate certificate, right? If I go to certification path, I don't see the third one now because this is how the chain is now because I'm not at the LEAF certificate now. This is the certificate that we're at now, the second one, GTSCA 1C3, right? I go to details and then I can do the same thing from the drop down. I can select extensions only. And at the bottom, I see basic constraints. And voila, it says that it is CA, just like it said on the browser as well. 
subject type equals to CA certification authority. We should see the same piece of information for the root certificate as well. So let me just go to certification path and double click on GTS root space R1. Is there a space? Yeah, there is a space R1. Yep. I'll go to details now. I'll do basic. Uh, I'll do extensions only and basic constraints. Uh, constraints. Click on that, and there you go. This says the same thing. Subject type equals to CA. Okay, that means this is also a certification authority, right? This is uh, the easiest way and uh, the way to basically <laughs> check out if a certificate uh, certificate is a is a leaf certificate and an N entity or if it's a CA. And in this case, if I go ahead and click on certification path, what do you think we'll see, right? Because right now, before this, we clicked on the root certificate, right? And now once we clicked on the root certificate, this popped up, the third one. So if I click on certification path, we should see only one, which is GTS root R1. That's pretty much it. Uh, for this video. I hope this was useful. In case uh, you have any questions on this, please do let me know. I'll be very happy to help. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to make it quick. Otherwise, there's a lot of stuff that we can cover on uh, certificates. But anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Mm, goodbye. Let's close it up.